All right. Hello, guys. I want to share with all of you out there um, something that I never shared before. Um, I never talked about this, this, this subject. I never talked about this um, experience that I had uh, many years ago. Uh, the reason why is because I never, on that time especially, I was, I was not doing videos like this. Um, and with another words, I just put it beside, I put it on the shelf. And I never, I never shared about this. But I, I believe it is time to, to share this experience that I had. Um, because if you are a believer, if you're a Christian, if you're a follower of, follower of Christ, and you're watching this, this test, this video that I'm doing, uh, please keep watching because I believe this is going to bless you um, and, and, and it will open your eyes to see some, some things. So in this video, I want to share an experience that I had, uh, me falling to hell. Uh, and I want to, you know, take you with me and give you a couple of, you know, give you a background about myself. Um, I was a worship leader. I finished a Bible school. Uh, I was very involved in a, you know, in a church area. I, I, uh, I was a translator, you know, translating for different preachers. Um, I was leading here and there some Bible studies, and, and I was I was quite involved in church. And I told that I'm doing fine. I told that I'm, I'm you know my life is great, and I told that I'm going to heaven hundred percent. And uh, I remember I used to lead worship, you know, with, with my Marlboro, with a package of cigarettes. With Marlboro, I used to smoke Marlboro, you know, in, a, in, in my pocket. And I was worshiping, and I was leading people into worship, and I had my Marlboro in my pocket. Now, when we had this, um, you know, when you do the, the announcements, we had a door, a small door where you could go outside. So I always took my guitar sometimes, and I... I just ran outside and had a couple of puffs and run back and, and lead worship again. Um, and I, I know, I remember, you know, I always felt like so down. I knew something is wrong. I knew something is wrong in my life uh, because this addiction, it was so, it had a, such a grip on my life. And uh, I told that I will never be free from it. I told that I will always have this. I told that you can be free from different things, but when it comes about smoking, no, nope, you cannot be free from smoking. That's what I told. And I loved smoking. And I want to say, as long as you love something, as long as you love an addiction, as long as you love a sin in your life, you will never be free of it. You know, you have to come to a point in your life where you will hate if uh, this addiction of smoking, where well, you will have, uh, you know, hate this um, addiction of pornography, whatever the addiction, addiction is in your life, you can never be free from it as long as you come to that place where you hate, where, you, where there is a hate in your heart towards this addiction. And in my case, there was not a case, you know, I, I, I still loved smoking, but I wanted to be free, but I still loved it. Many times I took the cigarettes and I, and I put them to the bin. And after two or three hours, I went back and I took them and, and I, you know, smoked again. And, and so and this process went on for many, many, many months. And um, I always had this, 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 this battle in my life, but I always had to smoke, smoke, smoke everywhere. And uh, I remember one night as I was, you know, um, outside my apartment, I, I used to smoke a lot in the night uh, because I was, you know, relaxing and, and so on and thinking about things and so on. And uh, one night I was outside my, you know, the door and uh, smoking and just thinking about things. And in that night I, I smoked so much, like there was like no normal. You know, I almost smoked the whole package of cigarettes of Marlboro. And I even thought to myself, like, wow, I, this is not good. Something is, is wrong because I never do this, like the whole package, almost almost one after each other. And um, I went to sleep. And as I laid back, you know, uh, on my pillow, I put my hands in this way. Yeah. And I laid, I laid on, on my back. And... I think it took like a couple of seconds and the feeling that I had, it was like I was sucked, like I was sucked down. I fall down like like a hoover. The best explanation I can give you is like a hoover that it sucks through. Like I was just, I just fall. 
Now, when I was falling, it, it wasn't that this kind of falling like, you know, you fall from a building and you're like, ah, oh. it was like a, a nice fall, but in the same way I was falling, I don't know how to explain. So, uh, I was falling in the same position, but you have to understand that while I was falling, I knew that I'm going to hell. I knew, I just, I just know that I know that I know that I'm going to hell. And I was falling and I was falling, and I was so scared to open my eyes because I knew that if I'm going to open my eyes that uh, I will see whatever it is there and I'm just going to have a big heart attack. That's what I was thinking. But I knew deep in my heart that I'm, I'm falling to hell. And I was thinking, while I was falling, I was thinking like, this is no possible. This is no way I'm going to hell. I know about hell. I, I, I saw videos on YouTube about hell. And this is no possible. I, I'm not going to hell right now. That's what the the you know the what I was saying to myself. And I opened my eye, my right eye. I remember. I said, you know what? I'm just going to open to see what's happening. And 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 uh, I opened my eye. And I could see like this. Uh, th this black, black, black clouds. Um, they were so black that it was like a texture like you could you could really you could grab them it was like something solid that you could put your hand on and and the fear that i had it was like undescribable i cannot i cannot explain you um so as i was falling i could hear this big 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 sound uh it was like um like a a door a, a iron door you know which is old and you hear like it was like the whole it was like an echo a big big echo and i could hear it and i didn't know what that what that meant um so as i'm falling as i'm falling and i'm i feel like i'm in the middle of the clouds and i knew that if i'm gonna fall more i knew that i'm i, I will see what's happening there i knew i will have a, a heart attack now as i'm falling as i'm falling i i found myself like waking waking up in the same position that i um you know that i had when i fall in my bedroom and i was just like <gasps> and i fall up and and my wife she um uh she woke up and she was like what's what's wrong what's happening what's happening so i and i i was still sitting like in this position now and i was like i didn't know what i am i didn't know what's happening i didn't know um uh i am i in hell is this What's happening? Is this you know? So it took me a couple of minutes for me to come back to, um, you know, to the reality. But I'm telling you, the reason why I do this video it is because if you are a believer, if you are a, a Christian, and if there is something in your life, if there is a sin in your life that you are still struggling with, please get weird of it. If if you are addicted to something and 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 you say I'm a believer, if you are if there is if you're addicted to pornography, if you're addicted to smoking, if you're addicted addicted to alcohol, whatever that addiction it is, please make it right, because I thought that I will go to heaven. You know, I said to myself, I finished the Bible school. You know. I, I'm so involved in a church. I'm doing so much good for people. You know, I'm leading worship, people into worship. But little did I knew there was this cigarette, this addiction, that it took me down to hell. So one small addiction, it can take you to hell. You know, God wants us to, He wants pure people. He wants, he wants us to be holy. And if you have something in your life that, that pulls you back from God, you have to make it right. You have to make it right with God. You have to come back to God and say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, give me strength. You know, I tried everything. I tried those patches. I tried, you name it, I tried it. And still I couldn't be free from smoking. Why? Because I still loved it. So, somewhere deep in my heart, I still loved smoking. And I had to come to that place where I hate, where, where there was like a hate in my heart towards smoking, where I said to God, Lord, give me a hate towards this addiction. And step by step, I started to have, um, um, you know, a hate towards the cigarettes, uh, where I started to um, hate them. And, and, I, and, I was be free, and I was free later, but you cannot be free 
as long as you hate these addictions. So if you are a believer, you can be the best speaker, you can be the best worship leader, you can be the best evangelist, you can be the best person on this planet. But if there is something in your life that is not in God's will, if there is a small addiction in your life, if there is something in your life that is still pulls you back from God, and you know this in your heart, I'm telling you that thing will take you to hell. If you don't make it right with God, if you don't put your life in order with God, it will take you to hell. One small thing. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, there is more to share, but I wanted to stop here and to share this with you. Uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this video for people to whatever, believe me and so on. I'm, I know what I went through. I know uh, the experience that I had and, and that, that's, that's okay. Uh, but I want to make this video for all, all of you believers who um, you think that if your life is in order and everything is fine, but if you still have a small addiction in your life, it will take you to hell. So it's better to make it right now with God. So guys, God bless you all of you out there. And let's live a holy life. Let's strive to live a holy life. Let's strive for, for, for the things from above. Let's try to put our lives... Um, in order and to live a, a, a righteous life. So guys, God bless you. See you later.